No, he's only four foot nothing, Hammer. Well, there's something about this uh, this man. He looks very hard. He looks like uh, he can take a bit of a, a bit of a knock. He's the current Greek junior middleweight champion, and they tell me the hottest property in Europe at the moment. But he's up against no slouch indeed. Two-time world camp champion, and in my opinion, pound for pound, one of the best kickboxers in Australia, Barris Nezik. And also uh, the uh, a law enforcer in his uh, own right, Barris Nezik. Wow, well, how was that a few weeks ago when Barris Nezik made the news on all the commercial stations when he disarmed an armed attacker at Northland Shopping Centre. Yeah, so uh, somewhat of a local hero, Barris. Who was trying to kidnap uh, a girl or something, uh, apparently the, uh, the man with you the know, syringe. You know how he disarmed him? With a head kick hammer. There That's why go. they call him the wonder kicker now he's a community hero. Something, uh, something that the uh, the thug would have thought little about, getting uh, a shin across the face. Definitely, indeed. Now we'll see if there can be any heroics here in Santorin from Barris Nazif or Iron Mike Zambides. Barris Nazif, the distinct height and reach advantage. Zambides hits like a heavyweight, so we've been told. Just goes to show, Michael, never judge a book by its cover. I'm sure uh, Barris would have looked quite unassuming uh, as he tackled the thug, and uh, such is uh, Zambides. We've been told not to judge this man by, uh, by his look either, as he is extremely hard, the Greek athlete. Good solid first round so far. Barris Nazif just before cracking away that high right round kick, that trademark wonder kick of his. Zambides there, the short left hand to the head, good leg kick there from Barris Nezif. Last time out, of course, as John Casey said, Nezif annihilated Chris McPhee from Queensland. And it was right here in this ring that he knocked Julian Howe through the ropes on the undercard of Stan Longanides versus Grant Barker way back, I think, in 1997, Hammer. Well, clever tactics here from Zambides. He's not giving uh, Nezif enough room to use his legs. He's just stalking forward continuously, getting his leg up there to check those, uh, those big leg kicks out. Zambid is a clubbing right hand, a left round kick there from Barris Nazif. Nazif with a straight right hand through the guard. Uppercut there by Iron Mike Zambid is a work of the high right round kick. And Barris Nazif just twice him says, come on Greek boy, that's all you got for me. I want a little bit more. Well, uh, the heroics is all good, but you've got to be racking up the points. And that's what, that's what uh, Barris Nazif has to remember. He's got to keep working because uh, Zambid is certainly doing that. He's inside and he's really uh, letting his hands go. As if uh, in turn, that round pretty much even, with uh, both boys really uh, giving it a shake up. You see uh, Nezif just letting the hands go, Zambidis uh, coming in, trying to uh, find an opening there. Barish looking for a leg attack, nothing coming. Zambidis letting the high head kick go, Barish dances back. Step up side kick to open proceedings here from the wonder kick of Barris Nezif in the second round of action. This one scheduled for 12, the Super Welterweight Championship of the World on the line. Barris Nezif just did a little bit of a disco dance after that round kick from Michael Zambides, saying it didn't hurt him whatsoever. It's a little bit of the brash, cocky, arrogant attitude that Barris Nezif has developed in recent fights. And why not Hammer? I'll tell you what, he can back it up as well. Well, uh, Barris is uh... Tell you what, complacency there from Nezif, has, and he's paid the price, getting an eight count now. Just a little too cocky, taking uh, Zambidis a little too lightly, and bang, went through those hands. Here comes Grease Lightning, Michael Zambidis, Zambidis headhunting, head to the body, Barris Nezif, and a whole lot of bother, a whole world of hurt. He covers up for dear life, Zambidis gets him against the ropes now, goes to the body, then to the head. Well, Zambides has exploded here in the second round, dropping Barris Nezif. What a rare sight that is, Hammer. Well, I tell you what, Nezif just got stunned by that by that, that thumping right hand of uh, Zambides. Another clubbing right hand to the ribs there from Iron Mike Zambides. The little man from Athens, from the fighting city of Athens. Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning, you like that one, Hammer? <laughs> I'm pulling them all out tonight. Grease Lightning, you got to like that. <laughs> And he certainly is, he's looking the good Zambides. He is one tough little customer. Good outside leg, hit the lead leg there from Zambides. Pops him with a short left hook. Zambides is dancing elegantly around the ring. He might be as tiny as a tack, but I tell you what, he packs a whack, folks. How hey, you like that hammer? I'm a poet, I don't even know it. It is, you're really, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're really stringing it together. If you're a fighter, Michael, you'd be world class. <laughs> you put the mouth final like that, seconds of the second round of action, Hammer. It has been Zambidi's round. It will be a 10-8 round on the judges' scorecards. He did drop Barris Nezik for the count earlier on. Oh, there you go. Zambidis is round. Barris Nezik paid the price for complacency. Just uh, took Zambidis a little too lightly. Bingo, bango. The hand got through. And in the corner of Michael Zambides. Well, good that they've got a second uh, language there that they can whip in there in the corner to give Zambides his instructions as the fighters dance around. There's the left hook. It was actually a left hook. My mistake that... Uh, 
welterweight. This one is scheduled for 12. The super welterweight championship of the world on the line. It was Michael Zambides all over Barris Razif like a, nash in, a rash in the second round of action. Yeah, I'm getting tongue tied, hammer. I'm that excited. I tell you too what, much how many times you, have you Michael? seen Barris Razif drop his center ring? Well, not too often, I can tell you that. Uh, Nezif, certainly uh, an accomplished fighter, and he has never really been caught. And I'll tell you what Zambidis has done here tonight. High right round kick there from Barris Nezif and a high left round kick. Sitting right next to me, stand the man Longinides has made his way down the centre ring to offer some support to his young protege, Michael Zambidis. Again with that left hook, Zambidis catches Nezif. Zambidis going to town again. He's Barris Nezif forced to cover up right in front of that commentary position. Now Zambini's really headhunting here again in the third round of action. This one's scheduled for 12. It might not go that far. Michael Zambini's folks has come to fight. So often we see international opponents come to Australia. They put in lackluster performances, but not tonight from Michael well, Zambini's. Simply, simply they come here for a holiday, especially some of the New Zealand boys uh, that have come over uh, you know, over the last couple of years. Sometimes they come over for a bit of a break. And that uh, is evident in the fights, but the Zambitas is having none of that. He'll leave his holidaying for another time, seeing as he lives in Greece. He's got the lovely Greek islands to go to. He's come to Australia to fight, and fight is doing well in centre ring. Zambitas just dancing lightly around the ring. Fantastic footwork on the little man from Greece. Barris Nazif moving forward, very wary of that left hand of Zambitas. Zambitas clubbed with a short left hook. Barris Nezif gets the right uppercut in there, drills away a round kick to the ribs. Zambides goes the inside legs and just taps him on the side of the head with a short left hand. Inside-outside leg kick combination there from Barris Nezif. They don't seem to phase Grease Lightning. They don't seem to phase Iron Mike Zambides. Zambides in close. Nezif checks the leg kick. Zambides forces him backwards now. Just burying him like a little pit bull terrier. Well, Zambides certainly uh, likes the fight on the inside, and that is where he's most comfortable. Clever tactics from him, getting on the inside and just uh, looking for that left hook around the back of the gloves of Nezif. That's what's working for him today. End of the second round of action, Hammer, the man they call a little Stan the Man Longanine. He's definitely showing it at the moment. Well, you can see why it's exactly uh, a Stan fight. Stan uh, just doesn't... Again, you see uh, Nezif just measuring off. Zambidis not being a sitting duck. He keeps moving, catches those high kicks well. He's got his guard nice and high, Zambidis. Catches it and works off. That's what uh, really impresses me about this uh, this little Greek fireball package. He takes the, the kicks and punches, and he works off them oh so cleanly. He doesn't let uh, anything go unanswered. Court marriage there with... We are ready to roll into the fourth round of action. This one's scheduled for 12. Michael Zambides out of the blue corner, Barris Nezif out of the red corner. Barris Nezif began strongly, but then in the second round it was Zambides. In the third round it was Zambides again, now into round number four. Spinning hook kick there, spinning heel kick from Barris Nezif, didn't quite connect. Zambides, the real baby-faced assassin here from Greece, just smiling at Barris Nezif Hammer. I'll tell you what, his anticipation is uh, superior. He really uh, picks the shots well. Zambidis, and he's working well off the attacks of Barish Nezif. Inside leg kick there from Barris Nezif, Zambidis cracks away to the ribs, goes through the outside left leg. A good body shot there from Michael Zambidis. Nezif goes to the outside right thigh, Zambidis just burying in yet again. Inside leg kick there from Barris Nezif, Zambidis trades one of his own. Stand the man Longanides a few seats down from me, shouting out all sorts of instructions here to Michael Zambidis. Zambidis just forcing Barris Nezif against the ropes. Good leg kick there from Zambides. Nezip ties him up, turns him around. Malcolm Bulner's there to separate both men. There's Stan, Stan the man, the man. Longanides. Have a look at the intensity. Stan's really uh, willing this young man to win. Zambides bouncing around the balls of his feet as he has been doing all fight. There's the left leg wonder kick from Barris Nezip. Goes to the inside left thigh. Zambides just wades forward. Barris Nezip needs to clock him one on the chin on him. Uppercut just misses the target there from Barris Nazif, peppers away with the left hand. Inside leaky from Zambezi, then he moves off. He's got great footwork, the man from Greece, Hammer. Well, he's certainly uh, putting it all together. Zambezi is working well laterally, and uh, Lina, Lina movements coming in straight. Oh, he's dropped it with the body shot! He's dropped it with the body shot! You've got to hear it reverberate around Festival Hall! There goes oh, the body the shot! I tell you what, Michael, it's oh, been a long time. Well, I don't think I've ever seen this oh, battle twice, like a man twice, twice dropped in a fight, Hammer. Twice there dropped in a fight. There he comes against He's going after the ribs again. Into the fourth round of action, and perhaps Barris Nezip's state by the bow. Barris Nezip and Michael Zambini. Hammer, have you ever seen Barris Nezip?
has it, dropped once, have you ever, ever seen him drop twice in a fight? Well, twice in a fight for uh, Nezif, this is new uh, territory. And beat is just stalking in, having a look, seeing what the openings are. As if likewise doing the same, nothing really there. Then beat is weaving. You see him just uh, looking for the setting to uh, to rip that body shot in. He's a superior fighter on the inside, and what Nezif really has to do is keep him at range now, and perhaps use a front kick, etc. There's the uh, the left, the right, right body rip rather that uh, took Nezif down, loaded it up nicely. Weaved under and uh, let it go. Found the uh, found the ribs of Nezif. He's finding him continuously. And uh, Zambidis for his size. I tell you what, he's got to have a lot of power there because there you see it. He disposed of uh, Nezif in that little encounter without too much bother. Comments from the former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion Mark the Hammer Castanini. Ringside with myself, Michael Chabello. You're watching all the action from the House of Stouch Festival Hall. Another quality Tarak Solak promotion. Inside leg kick there from Baris Nezif, Zambidis goes high. He's hunting for a knockdown again here in the fifth round of action. Clubbing body shot again there from Grease Lightning, Michael Zambidis. Not relenting, not letting up on Baris Nezif. Nezif turns him around and cracks away to the outside right thigh. Nezif has found no answers for the questions of Michael Zambidis so far. Zambidis just fires off the right hook and sweat flies up the brow of the two-time world champion. Well, how tough is Barish Nezif though? He keeps stalking forward, keeps pushing forward. He's not leaning on the ropes. He's not oh. taking a backward step. The body shots hurt him. The head shots hurt him. Barish Nezif taking more hits than the internet. He's over in the neutral corner. He's taking a beating hammer. Well, what he wants to do now is grab on. He's got to, he can't let Zambidis uh, get his range and look for those body shots. If he's in a bit of bother, he wants to tie up Zambidis, hold his arms and uh, breathe it up, spin him around perhaps and work off there. But uh, Barish Nezif never takes a backward step and he's taking it up to, uh, to the Greek fighter. Barish Nezif trying to pick the spot to launch one of those high wonder kicks, one of those shins to the temple that will surely send Michael Zambidis to the canvas. But he hasn't found the connection so far and Zambidis has been defeating him in the hands department. Well, Cracking we'll, body shot there from Baris Nezip. We were told that Zambidis hits like a heavyweight. Those words coming from Stan the Man, of course, saying, uh, have a look at this guy. He's only small, but I tell you what, when he hits, he really lets him go. Hammer, we should point out that the winner of tonight's contest will face the winner of Lester Ellis versus Richard Walsh next year here at Festival Hall oh, in yeah. a world title bout. You've got to love that one. And at this stage, uh, Zambidis has got to be looking like he's in the box seat. Wow, there. it's been all the hype about Barris Nazif and Lester Ellis, but I tell you what, Michael Zambidis is looking the goods. Once again, Zambidis just moving laterally nicely, working off on angles that, uh, that an architect wouldn't know about, and uh, coming in and just peppering away, hands and feet working in, uh, in unison, and uh, looking for the openings, and keeping a very, very superior defence to boot. A lot of fighters look for the openings to get very untidy, but the Zambidis, I tell you what, nice and tight. Roll into round number six of action, the World Super Welterweight Championship on the line. This one's scheduled for 12, will it go that far? Barris Nazif still standing, but he's taking a beating for five rounds so far. Zambidis dancing around the ring. That cockiness, that bit of arrogance we saw earlier on from the disco dance from Barris Nazif. Wow, that's been pummeled out of him by this time, Hammer. Well, he's certainly uh, back to business now, and as if he's, uh, he probably took Zambidis a little lightly, that was his mistake. I guess, like you said before, looks are unassuming. Michael Zambidis is so small, such a tiny fighter, you wouldn't think much of him. But he's landed a couple of clean shots on the jaw of Nezif early in this round. His hands are very quick, his anticipation is even better, and his accuracy once again tops all of that off. Right in front of our commentary position, 45 seconds down here in the sixth round of action. Michael Zambidis has been working the rib cage of Baris Nezif for the entire fight. He dropped him with a rib blow in the last round. Just misses there with a short left hook, does Zambidis. Once again, Fox Sports bringing you all the superior action of ring sports. And you're seeing some world-class kickboxing happening right here, right at Festival Hall in centre ring. Folks, it's all part of the action of the K1 Oceania as Baris Nezif launches a high left round kick. Zambidis just dancing around the ring. He's dominated it so far. Zambidis again hammer on the balls of his feet, dancing around, showing no signs of tiredness whatsoever. Well, I tell you what, a lot of uh, a lot of the fighters uh, doing the rounds, they want to be having a look at Zambidis because he's moving very well up on the balls of the feet. Work rate, work rate. Low blow there from Zambidis on Nezef, the good sportsman that Zambidis is, just touching the gloves as we recommence. Yeah. One minute 35 down here, hammer in the sixth round of action. 
High right round kick there from Barris Nezik. Zambidis just probes with the left hand. I'll tell you what, he caught that. He catches those round kicks off the rear leg from Barris so well. That, that is textbook perfect, Zambidis. Catches them both gloves and then rotates his hips straight off there, ready to let the left hook go. And the man that wrote the book sitting opposite us, ringside, Bob Jones, the founder of to roll into the seventh round of action. It's a sore, weary Barris Nazif that emerges. His world title, one of his two world titles on the line here tonight. Against a very, very strong surprise packet from Greece by the name of Iron Mike Zambides. Step up side kick again off the right leg to start proceeding from Barris Nazif. Just not enough mustard behind it to do any real damage. Well, I tell you what, it's been a long time since I've seen a shorter fighter, or a fighter that has uh, obviously got the weight but not the height, work a taller opponent so well. Obviously, uh, a few weeks back, uh, we saw Lennox Lewis fight uh, Tua over there in uh, in the US, and the Tua just had no answer for those quick jabs of Lewis, and I tell you what, he, he should have gone to school with Zambidis, because Zambidis is just working the ranges all so well. Hammer, that was classic standard man, what you just saw there, a leaping left hook followed by a leg kick. Well, exactly. And uh, we'll uh, wait with anticipation to see Stan in the main event on this card. Folks, it doesn't get much better than this. And still coming up, we have the final of the K1 Oceania Victoria. Phil Fagan versus Christopolides. They're banging away to the ribs here in Santorin. Zambides versus Barris Nazif for the Super Welterweight World title. We've also got, of course, the Master Blaster, Lester Ellis. And Stan the Man Longanides against the Chief Peter Graham. Joining us ringside. In just a moment will be super promoter Tarek Solak. We're going to throw a set of headphones on Tarek Solak and have a bit of a chat to him as Michael Zambides and Barris Nazif duke it out in Santorini. A good evening to you Tarek Solak. What another fantastic event you brought to us tonight. Good, good evening gentlemen. And, uh, this is probably one of the best uh, welterweight fights I've seen in a long time. Looks like our boy Michael Kuna from Greece is really putting on the show and is one tough customer to beat tonight. Tarak, of course, if Michael Zambides wins here tonight and Lester Ellis wins here tonight, will the two of them face each other here at Festival Hall next year? Well, the two winners of the next two fights will be facing each other on March 18. And this is why, why it's so good that I do these knockout uh, competitions where the winners will qualify for the next one. Well, Tarak, I have to ask you, when you brought Zambides over, did you expect to, uh, to have such a powerful little package of a fighter? Good luck to both these athletes. Uh, Barry should have taken all that punishment and still standing there uh, on the late round. Uh, they're both doing a good job. Well, we've, learned, we've learned to expect nothing less from Barry Nezif. He is a tough customer and of course, always on your promotions, Tarek is always there and putting on a fine display of kickboxing for the audience. You can see both boys are uh, throwing some heavy leather there. Michael Zambini just taking away to the ribs. Barris Nezzi just caught the round kick and Zambetti took a tumble to the canvas. Third man in centering there, referee Malcolm Bulmer. It's been a good clean fight so far, folks. The Super Welterweight Championship of the World on the line. Michael Zambetti is looking the favourite to take it at the moment. Zambetti's just copying one a little bit south of the border there, Hammer. Well, this is exactly what Barris needs to do. Not obviously strike Zambetti below the belt, but obviously use his front kick a lot, a lot more. He's got to be working his range. He's letting Zambetti's work in too close. He's got to be working Zambetti's further. Well, uh, Ma Michael seems like he's got a uh, couple of bruises on his left leg on the inside, so if Farish stays out and throws those leg kicks and high kicks, I think he might do better than instead of trying to clinch in there and box with uh, Michael, which is a very, very uh, extraordinary boxer. Comments from the super promoter Tarak Solak, ringside with myself, Michael Chavello, and my verbal sparring partner, the Hammer, Mark Castanuni. It's another fine quality fight brought to you by Tarak Solak, folks. Hope you're enjoying it on Fox Sports right around the country. Michael Zambides, the shorter version of Standard Man Longanese, just sticks out the front kick off the left leg. Goes down to the ribs again. Outside leg kick there from Barris Nezip and cracks one off the left leg. High right now, kick of the head there from Michael Zambides. Just gets under the right hand. A one to kick there from Barris Nezip on the left hammer. Can Nezip maybe rally here in the later rounds? Well, Nezip is tough. There's no doubt about it. He is an accomplished uh, technician. He moves well. He's done the rounds and he, he knows how to, uh, how to weather the storm. And that's exactly uh, what's happening with Zambides. He's keeping the pressure on all the time. But in my opinion, I, I wouldn't like to see Barish work on the inside. He's got to use his reach a lot more. Tarak, in your opinion, will this, will this one go the 12 rounds it's scheduled for? Well, if it goes the 12 rounds, uh, Michael will win this fight the way he's going. Uh, uh, Barish will have to have... He's big, he's massive, he's white and he's strong and he's come to do business. Well, we look forward to seeing uh, Andrew Pick right here in, uh, in February.
Vodafone Arena, very prestige. Uh, but right now it's Michael Zambidis with a big left hook, Mike. Well, Zambidi just a spectacular. <laughs> and another big, left, and a big right kick. I tell you what, Hamad Tarek Sully's trying to go for my job. <laughs> I tell you what, I reckon uh, Tarek can do mine, and I'll uh, just uh, saute <laughs> myself around ringside talking to all the, all the lovely ring girls that the uh, Tarek and Masses here. <laughs> I think I'd like to swap jobs. Still very fluent dancing around the ring. One two to the body there from Barris Nazif. Zambidi just dances out of the way of trouble. Very light on his feet, this young man from Greece. They call him Greece Lightning Hammer. Well, you do anyway. Oh, big right hand to the jaw there from Zambidi. Inside leg kick from Barris Nazif. Zambidi's on the attack again in this round. Well, the leg kicks haven't bothered Michael Zambidi so far in this entire fight. He's just been smiling at Barris Nazif, saying, Come on, Aussie, is that all you've got for me? Inside leg kick, well checked there. Barris goes high to the head. Come to think of it, Barris has got a very hard chin. I mean, like, that was a big punch that he just won. He's wore a few of them tonight. Even though he's went down a couple of times, he's came back. And he's coming back with a combination again. Tarak, in all of your time managing uh, Baris Nazif, promoting Baris Nazif right around the world, have you ever seen him drop twice in a fight? No, I haven't, so this is a bit of a surprise. And uh, it's great to see that he's still standing there and he's in the late rounds. But uh, he is under a lot of tr trouble at the moment, and he, he does have to win with a knockout. Tarek, I have to ask you, Baris has found uh, his newfound confidence. Some say he's a little uh, arrogant even. But uh, what do you think of that? Is that just the newfound confidence he's found? Does he believe it's his time, obviously, and uh, he wants to take it uh, all the way? Or well, is it definitely, it's, it's his best time at the moment, and he is doing uh, well in the last few fights that he's been having, even though he's in a bit of trouble here tonight. But uh, he is a world champion, so I won't be surprised if he still makes an upset before the 12th round here. Well, he's certainly uh, the type of fighter that uh, will weather the storm and give it his all. You see Zambidis over, overhand right, sent Barish uh, backwards a couple of steps. Once again, rallying, left hook, working the body. He picks his shot. And all the gang at the classic V2 Versace store in Little Collins and Russell Street. Eddie Maguire and Tarek Solik, the only two men that get dressed by Versace in Australia, Tarek. Thank you, Michael. Do you think they could the dress me, Michael? I think, uh, no, I think you're an impossible could. task. You're a lost cause. Some Versace fighting, <laughs> sh fighting shorts. That's what I'd like to see. I think we're working on one at the moment as we speak. Well, there you go. Michael Zambidi's just dancing around the ring. Just moves out of the way. The big left hook there from Barris Nazif. Nazif just smiling at Zambidi's corner, saying, I've got a few more tricks left up my sleeve. Don't you worry about that. Nazif just taunting him. Oh, he gives a bit of the old uh, ribby there to the corner, and the crowd certainly don't like that. There's the arrogance, there's no, the brashness, no. there's the cockiness we talked about. Well, the corner was giving him a bit of curry, and uh, Nazif certainly uh, given uh, a bit back, but uh, I did see the corner giving uh, <laughs> Nazif a little bit of a distracting uh, comment or two. But maybe, uh, nevertheless, it's all in the game plan, it's all in the psychology of the exactly, podcast. Exactly, maybe Barris Nazif starting to play mind games here with Michael Zambides. Zambides and both of them trade a good clash of leg kicks. Barris Nazif just stalking forward here, Zambides cracks away to the inside five, goes high up to the head. The little man from Greece certainly gets his kicks up high. Well, he switches off that lead leg very cleanly. Very quick, very clean. His hands are up. His guard is tight. His chin is tucked. He's got it all, the little Greek man. Don't forget, folks, as we said earlier on, the next K1 show will be the K1 Oceania Final Championship at Vodafone Arena on February the 18th, 2001. Eight of Australia and New Zealand's finest heavyweight fighters duking it out for the right to be called K1 champion. Nice straight left hand just probing through the guard there from Barris Nezit. Zambidi just smiles at him, still bouncing around on the balls of his feet. Zambidi's looking to move in there, just probing the distance with a clean left hand. Fires out the overhand right. Zambidi's looking towards the legs of Barris Nezit. Has to watch out for those wonder kicks. The shins to the head. There goes one off the right from Barris Nezit. Good short left hand to end the round there from Michael Zambidi's. I'll tell you what, Tarek. On the balls of his feet, and he's moving. I'll tell you what, some of the shorter heavyweights should have a look at Zambidi's and have a look at the way he moves against the taller opponent. Instead of standing there slugging it out, he's in, he works the inside range well, rips to the body, uppercuts, hooks, and then he's out of range. Hard to catch, always on the balls of the feet. That's uh, how the shorter guys should be fighting. Zambidis is doing a textbook perfect here tonight. Comments from the former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion, Mark the Hammer Castanini, ringside with myself, Michael Chavello, and the super promoter. It's our great pleasure to have him here, Tarek Solak. Step up front kick off the left leg there from Barris Nazif. Nazif now has just got Zambidis back into the neutral corner. Zambidis goes the inside leg kick. Barris just tags him out with the left hand. Cracks away a right round kick to the ribs. Zambidis flies across the ring. Digs away to the ribs again. Then to the head. 
Here comes Cleese Lightning. Here comes Michael Zambides. Barris Nezik just ties him up. The penultimate round of action, round number 11. Well, Barris Nezik won his world title here at Festival Hall on a Tarek Solo promotion when he knocked out Julian Howe. He could lose it here tonight, Hammer. Tarek against Michael Zambides. Yes, uh, he won it from an Englishman from England, uh, Julian Howe, uh, a few years ago. And now another standard man undercard and his uh, world title's on the line. Uh, he is in a lot of trouble at the moment, but it's still round 11. There's uh, one and a half rounds to go. Well, it's fair to say, uh, I think the only way that Nezik is going to come back uh, now is if he uh, puts uh, Zambides down. They'll have to catch him with a head kick. I think that's his only chance that's left here. Barish has got uh, good high uh, head kicks, but uh, it's a matter of catching this young man that's got a lot of confidence at the moment. Well, he's, he's, if you have a look, Tariq Howie holds his guard, Zambidis. He's caught that round kick at least 15 times on both gloves. He catches it on his uh, left-hand side and then rolls that left hook straight off it or catches it and rolls a right body shot. Well, maybe Barish should work on his ribs a bit more. Uh, uh, buckle him up from his ribs, then come up for a high kick. Exactly. Just going straight for as, high I, kick. as I always say, easy for us to say sitting here, harder for them to do in there. And uh, obviously in your uh, early days, a lot of people wouldn't know, Tarek, that you also were in the ring as a fighter. That's so uh, right. it's very hard. Have a look at the replays there from round 11, Hammer. Yes, hello, Salvatore. I'll be coming in and seeing you soon as we see Zambidis stalking forward. Barry's trying for the rib kick. Zambidis coming back with a chopping leg kick. Stand the man, pop it, chopping leg kick. He works that, that left hook well. Gets his body right behind it, Zambidis. And what a little powerhouse fighter he is. Here we go. The 12th, the final round of action. Referee Malcolm Bulmer will get us underway. One feels that Barris Nezit must pull a proverbial rabbit out of the hat if he is to maintain his world title. Well, never underestimate Barris Nezit. He could do it. If there's anyone that could do it, it's him. Big left uh, a powerhouse fighter like Zambidis. I think, I think Michael's on very high spirit at the moment. It's going to be pretty hard to stop that boy. Michael Zambides has the adrenaline pumping here in the 12th and final round. The large Greek contingent here at Festival Hall rallying behind Michael Zambides. They've really adopted him. They've really embraced him this week. Nazef will look for the opening, maybe with the high right round kick to the head. It hasn't come so far for 11 rounds. It might not come now. Tarak Solak, we're going to say goodbye to you. You've got a lot of organising to do for the main event. Thank you very much for being on your ringside. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, folks. Great to have Super Bruno Tarak Solak here offering us his comments. Just a slip there in the centre of the ring, I think, by Barris Nezik on that crazy John's logo. Yes, it was just a slip there, Hammer. Malcolm Bulmer watched the gloves of Barris Nezik run underway again the 12th round of action. What a world title stash we've seen. That's why they call it the House of Stash. Well, Zambidis is not uh, resting, although he has his fight pretty much uh, closed up. He's keeping on, keeping on, Zambidis. Here comes Zambidis! Again with the heavy artillery, Michael Zambidis. Sweat just flying off the brow of Barris Nazib. He cracks away to the outside left thigh. Nazib just smiles at him and says, come on, Iron Mike. Is that all you've got for me? But I'll tell you what, Barris Nazib, Nazib has taken a lot of punishment so far for 11 and a half rounds. Only 30 seconds left in this, the 12th and final round of action. Then we'll go to the judges. Then we might see a new world champion. Comments in the corner there from Nick Talakuris in the corner of Michael Zambides. Just missing with a front kick there, Nezik. Zambides lets loose with a wild right hand. Cracks away to the ribs again. The ribs of Barris Nezik are going to be very sore tomorrow and for a while to come. Zambides, Zambides, Zambides. Barris Nezik on rubber leg street. Barris Nezik on rubber leg street. He's down on his feet. He's down on his feet. It's over. It's over. It's oh, over. Yeah. We've got a new champion of the world. There it is, Zambides taking it all out in the 12th round. The corner giving the nod, Hammer. telling him to open up, and Zambidis just let it all go. 